Hey everybody, this is Will. Today I wanna to show you how to solve a really weird problem that I ran into a couple months ago and it took me a while to figure out how to solve it. Here's what was happening. So uh, I've got my MIDI controller set up. I had my Oakboard Mini, which is uh, one of my favorite MIDI controllers. Uh, and I had it mapped in Ableton Live. In particular, I had mapped one of my buttons here to solo my click. Now this was kind of a, I call it a oops button. If something went wrong, I wanted to be able to solo my click. And I assigned it to this button on my MIDI controller. So what I was hoping that I would be able to do is when I needed to solo my click, I could push this button, which would solo the click. So let's One, press play on my MIDI two, controller that's three. playing. I'm gonna press that to solo my click. But look what happens. Uh, so as soon as I press it, my tracks go gray. My click does solo, which is great. At least I got that part right but I no longer can hear my tracks. Like if I unsolo this, um, okay, my click is still going, but my tracks are grayed out and they're gone. Now, a couple weeks ago, we talked about why do I not hear audio in Ableton Live, uh, it, particularly why do I not hear audio in Ableton Live's arrangement view? And we talked about the culprit right here, back to arrangement button. So back to arrangement lights up if something happens in session view, something is triggered in session view, in particular scene, in session view that's different than our recorded arrangement. The reason this happens is there's two views in Ableton Live. We have arrangement view, if we hit tab, we have session view. And Ableton as a company needed to make it to where we could know which view are we hearing at what time. Because if we could play audio in both views at the same time, it could be a disaster, right? It could just be a complete and utter disaster. And so that's why typically I only suggest um, playing audio in session view uh, or playing audio in a range of view and not mixing them. But again, let's go back to my problem. I'm not trying to play anything in session view. All I'm trying to do is just press this button to solo my click so that when, uh, when I hit this, my click gets soloed. Again, my click is soloing, but why in the world are my tracks grayed out? It took me a while to figure this one out, uh, but here's the steps I took to fix it. So I'm gonna hit Command M so that I can see my MIDI mapping here. Uh, and then I wanna go over to Live's browser, click this arrow here to open this up. And I'm gonna look at now what's called my MIDI mappings browser. Okay, so let's look, click Mixer, Solo Q. If we look, note E1, but let's actually look over here. Note E1 is also mapped. What is it mapped to? It's mapped to Scene 1 over in session view. And so if I press tab and go over to session view, you'll see that I have mapped uh, this button on my MIDI controller, which was supposed to be just for solo, has been mapped also to scene one. Now, why in the world did that happen? Well, in my particular case, it happened because um, uh, I had used this MIDI controller, I had done a tutorial, I had assigned it to scene one, and then I really quickly was turning around trying to uh, use it over in arrangement view, forgot that it was assigned to that scene, went ahead and assigned it to my solo button, and um, when I did that, I caused and wreaked all sorts of havoc, okay? So a nice thing about Ableton is I could take one thing, one MIDI button on a MIDI controller and assign it to multiple things in Ableton Live. So I have one button that mutes um, uh, five tracks at once. I could have one button that um, solos a track and mutes other tracks. Um, it does all sorts of really cool possibilities. So in order to fix this, what I did is I just went and I deleted this mapping from the scene, right? And took that away. Uh, got out of mini map mode. For a final time, uh, I disabled back to arrangement. Uh, I unsoloed my click. And now I can press play on my MIDI One, controller. Two. I can press S to solo my click. You see that it's soloed and I can hit it Three. again to disable that. So if you run into it, and this is a weird, I know kind of specific uh, itch issue, weird kind of specific thing. If you ever run into that to where you press a button on your MIDI controller uh, and suddenly uh, your tracks are grayed out in a range of view, it's because that button is also assigned to something over in session view. So delete that mapping in session view, stick to just arrangement view, and you're gonna be good to go. Now, if you're looking to run tracks in Ableton Live, you're gonna need some resources to help you get up and running. You need some clicks, some guides, uh, even a free tracks template. And so to make this easy for you, I've put together um, all of my free resources in one place. You can head to fromstudiostage.com slash free, just share your name, 
your email address. You'll get free click tracks, guide cues, time code files, uh, MIDI cues, as well as my free tracks template. So head to firmstudiostage.com slash free to download all those free resources. And if you enjoy using Ableton Live, particularly to perform on stage uh, with Ableton Live, then I encourage you to stick around this channel. I post a new video every single day at 10 a.m. Central. Tuesdays are devoted to troubleshooting issues that uh, I have had in Ableton Live and issues that you have had in Ableton Live. So if you want to see this content as soon as it posts, then hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified as soon as I post content every single day, 10 a.m. Central, so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.